Today I want to talk about Billy Gibbons Stone. Okay, not specific to any particular song, but uh, a generic patch that I use for playing ZZ Top in general, which uh, gives me a range of sounds without bothering to change too much of presets or, 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 or um, screenshots, anything of that sort. Uh, a word or two about Billy Gibbons Stone, iconic, and I've been a big fan uh, since childhood. And <clears throat> his tone has changed uh, drastically over a period of time, but there are some fundamentals which hold good. Uh, right from his earlier recordings where he was actually using small tube amps to achieve that large tone, and that's my weapon of choice. I like to use either a rag distortion or, or a fuzz, uh, going straight into my trusty 5 watt all tube amp to achieve those tones. But on HX Storm, uh, what I found is the matchless amp simulation, uh, the matchstick, uh, matchstick and that too specifically channel 2, uh, gets me in that tone territory, the fat tone territory that Billy Gibbons is famous for. And if I, and Billy Gibbons of course he stacks multiple drives and fuzzes. Um, I don't, um, I mean for my generic tone I'm using one fuzz uh, in front of the amp and that too is the pocket fuzz. Uh, which is, a, I think, the, you know, the smallest variant of fuzz in the whole uh, HX Storm uh, offering. And uh, what I, the the key ideologies for a ZZ Top tone when I'm jamming with someone or or when I'm just having fun, I don't want to be touching too many presets and I don't want to be uh, you know tweaking too many knobs when I'm playing. I want the patch to behave way of you no know, a pedal should behave in front of an amp. And uh, what this tone does is it cleans up reasonably, growls when, when I want it to growl, gives me uh, those dynamics on, on, uh, on, the, on the lead playing because Billy Gibbons is a lot of like slidish uh, kind of a playing with, with pinch harmonics and stuff. So this patch gets it done and and uh, that's the reason um, no and and that's the reason that, you know it's a generic patch on my text song the impulse response which i'm using on on the matchless amp is a weird one actually i'm actually using a mesa 4x12 uh, you know, v30 ir uh, i'm leaving the impulse response link in the description for you to check out and uh, <clears throat> you can you can uh, replicate the entire patch i'm gonna put screenshots of it or you can download the impulse response up to you and thanks for all your support let us uh, check out of you know some tones and, and then we'll go to the screenshots so let's uh, check out a few tones as i play it and uh, demonstrate it goes from very uh, growly to cleans up pretty nicely uh, and you'll see that let's let's record something and see how it sounds can see i mean the, <clears throat> the character of the guitar uh, you know changes drastically with the dynamics of your picking so it goes from to on the patch which i really like about this patch and if i want to really go it grounds and it comes in very handy and none of for any of these things i'm not changing the pickup i'm not changing anything on the patch it's the same screenshot i'm using even if you're playing something like a lead line, which is, uh, you know, very Billy Gibbon-ish, where, you know, it's a lot of pinch harmonics and stuff, it, it stands up. Let, let's, let me demonstrate it. So the first characteristic is uh, it's very controlled and that's what I like about this tone. So um, hope you enjoyed it. The screenshots will be towards the end um, and then you can replicate the tone or you can use the IR. It's up to you. Thank you so much. And as usual, do subscribe.